We've been talking about this at the Chamber of Commerce, both sides of the river for 20 years. Count Brent Cooper among those who wondered if a companion bridge for the Brent Spence would ever get built. As president of the Northern Kentucky Chamber of Commerce, Cooper says the lack of action from Frankfurt to Columbus to D.C. has been a real drag on greater Cincinnati. The damage to our economy because we weren't proactive has been profound. Cooper says accidents on the bridge and seemingly constant congestion have not helped the region prosper. Now, because of the new infrastructure bill, an improved Brent Spence corridor is closer to reality than ever before, and Cooper thinks it could happen without the need for tolls. But here we are, a golden opportunity, generational opportunity, to get this done without tolling, at least on the Kentucky side. That's what we're expecting and hoping for. A key reason Cooper feels that way is because Senator Mitch McConnell told me last week Kentucky's share of federal infrastructure dollars will be six and a half billion with 4.6 billion set aside for highway projects like the Brent Spence. CNBC is reporting Ohio's cut is expected to be double that, nearly 13 billion. And I would think that this is what puts it over the top. West Side supporter Pete Whitty says the second biggest infrastructure need behind the Brent Spence is replacing the nearly century old Western Hills Viaduct. Yeah, I think this this is extremely important for all of the west side. If you create a way to come and go through that corridor easily, it should open up the possibility of redevelopment. It really creates an opportunity to, for the west side to, to create a, a brand new entrance. Now, the Western Hills Viaduct project already has funding and momentum. Pete Whitty simply thinks the new infrastructure bill will remove any uncertainty about that project. As for the Brent Spence, well, both Kentucky and Ohio now need to agree on a path forward. And Brent Cooper thinks that building a new bridge will take three to five years at least. If lawmakers squabble, he says it could take nearly a decade. Reporting live tonight in Covington, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.